small in stature, but a terrific referee. So we'll see how it goes here. Anito Donaire has the opportunity to fight uh, England's Scott Quiggs. Quiggs got to fight tonight himself, and he's got to win that in order for this to come together. But Donito needs to win this fight in the worst way. For Setul, we don't know as much about him as we'd like to, but we do know that he's a very, very good fighter, and he's only been stopped one time in his career. So Nanito will have to really stay under control. The colors of the French flag on the trunks of uh, Anthony Sotul. Nanito decked out in the black trunks with a gold trim. Nanito really went back to work after his loss to Walters. Training really hard. He wants to get his jab going for him. He doesn't want to depend on just his power like he tried to in the Rigandau fight and couldn't catch up with Rigandau. Well, he hopes he'll be able to catch up with Sotu. And got the attention of Sotu. The tool set up right in front of him. Not a lot of sideway movement, which suits Donair just fine. Donair taking his time here in the early going. In his last fight, Donair stopped for William Fredo, a kind of a journeyman fighter in the second round and a uh, fight in Manila. At 122 pounds, a little bit heavy, 123 is done there for this fight. And here's the tool. loaded up that shot. He wants to work on his jab. His dad's been working with him and trying to get him back to the disciplined sort of fighter that he was. <laughs> he said to me, even though he knocked out the, his last opponent, Prado, he wanted to, to work more with him. And when he saw the blood and when he heard him, he went after him. I said, well, I'm not going to talk to him. He said, but Nanito, that's what fighters do. He said, no, he says, I don't care, but I got to stay under control. Well, he looks pretty much under control right here. Got the jab working for him. So cool, hasn't been able to do too much so far. Gets the jab through. That's a terrific first round for Anito. We're good, right? Okay. This is the first knockdown. Let's see. That was an uppercut. And then the delayed reaction. So we caught him with the left hand of the chin. Let's watch it again. And this is, oh, this is the second uh, time he catches him. This one's going to be a body shot. I know that right there. Right underneath there. Right on top of the liver. Seconds There's out! Another look at that. There's the body shot right there. Crushing to the liver. Well, that's going to be hard for Satul to recover Box. from as we go to round number two. This is scheduled for ten, but the power of Nanito Donaire is exactly what he wants to be able to do with Satul. And it's working uh, very, very well as he scored two knockdowns in the first round. One with a... Uh, Right hand upstairs with a delayed reaction by Satul, and then a real vicious body shot in the area of the liver that took him down right at the uh, end of the 
closing seconds of round number one. So Tool, I don't know if he's totally recovered yet, but Donito's moving well. He wants to get back to his jab. He doesn't want to, you know, go wild. This is what he told me that he wanted to do is stay under control. He trained very, very hard for this fight because he knows another world title is on the line. A couple of uppercuts. That sort of punch with the left hand, uh, you know, is a body shot just waiting to happen. There it is there in the right hand. Comes upstairs a couple of times. Would want to say a body shot waiting to happen. You know what he's thinking is to get those hands up to protect the head and get back down to the body. Wax him on the left ear. Does Donito Donair? Donair, of course, with his back to you in the black trunks and the red trunks down to the right of your screen is Anthony Setul, the guy from France, having problems in the first round, down twice. Setul get his jab out there, but Donito able to slip it. Three four, and four five, and five. Will he six, be able to get up six, seven? seven and he's back up eight, at eight. So down one. that time by a right hand. Oh. The third time he's been down. And the corner throws in the towel saying, we don't want him to take any more punishment. This fight's all over. It'll be scored as a second round technical knockout victory for Nanito Donaire, whose power just proved to be too much. So for the second fight in a row for Nonito, two second round knockouts. But this was against a very good fighter in Anthony Satul, who had a European title. And he thought that he was catching Nonito Donaire at just the right time. And in fact, he caught him at just the wrong time. Because this guy's rededicated himself. This is more the flash of the Filipino flash that we used to. Just a right hand, right on the button. That was his third time being knocked down in the fight. It wasn't going to happen tonight for Anthony Satul. And it'll be scored as a second round technical knockout victory for Nonito Donaire.